Hello sis D and I'm back with another video. It's happening. We are finally starting to get some concrete information about the next generation of devices from Microsoft. Now Dealer did cover this in a story earlier today. You can check that out on his channel. But since he's gone live with that story, more news has dropped. Now this is coming courtesy of windowscentral.com. And like usual, I will leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Now I'm so excited for next generation. I'm excited for both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Scarlet. Now we've been hearing about the Xbox Lockhart the last few weeks and today we even get more further clarification on that system and in fact the capabilities that it will have. The Xbox Lockhart device is at 4 teraflops and I've seen some gamers out there complain about this saying it's only 4 teraflops it's less than the Xbox One X. Well if you actually calculate it into the uh, teraflops that it would perform on the previous generation it's a little bit more than the Xbox One X and of course the CPU is much much better in that system. Now both consoles according to the article are going to have 8 core CPUs and both consoles will do ray tracing. Now this is news. I never thought that the Xbox Lockhart was also going to do ray tracing. Now this is incredible news. Now that console is targeting 1080p, 1440p and of course with the new CPU inside we can expect 60 frames per second on these games and now with the inclusion of ray tracing and an NVMe drive that's proprietary in the system in both of the systems. The Lockhart is also going to have this. Um, I think this is incredible. Now the rumored price for the Lockhart is $300 which is the perfect entry price for next generation gaming. Now I really want to talk about the Xbox Scarlet. Now they are targeting 12 teraflops of performance. 12 teraflops of performance. Now this is a really high metric obviously if we were to equate this to the previous generation I don't know it'd be something like 14 teraflops like it's a really powerful GPU you're looking at 2080 and a little bit above performance in and that's just incredible coming from a console I'm thinking that these consoles are gonna be 499 at a minimum with all the tech that they're packing inside of it now I'm just gonna read a little bit of the article here and like I said before you can find a link in the description down below now they go on to say that Anaconda looks as though it will be able to, according to several sources familiar with Microsoft's plans, Anaconda is targeting around 12 teraflops of computing power compared to the Xbox One X's 6 teraflop or the Xbox One S's 1.4 teraflops. Lockhart will sport around 4 teraflops and according to the marketing materials we've seen previously, it is being positioned as the most affordable entry point to the next generation experience. Now they go on to say that both Lockhart and Anaconda reportedly support an 8 CPU cores targeting around 3.5 gigahertz with Anaconda reaching a bit higher per core than the Lockhart. There's also vast improvements to the caching system of course due to the new silicon architecture and other general proprietary optimizations see Anaconda performing anywhere up to four to five times better than the Xbox One X if targets are met. We're told that Scarlet will guarantee a 13 gigabytes of RAM for games and three gigabytes for the operating system a total of 16 gigabyte. Now this is just fantastic news this system is really looking to be a powerhouse and they're not even done yet they talk about the solid state drive uh, solution that both the Lockhart and Anaconda will have NVMe SSDs that are proprietary which will drastically decrease the load times I'm I'm just excited for the next generation to, to get here when I sit there and I look at my uh, consoles now and I see what's coming for the next generation I'm just amazed it is such a leap ahead and people thinking that you know these uh, consoles that we have now are gonna hold those consoles back they're not gonna hold them back those consoles are powerhouses it rivals my PC the 12 teraflops of performance that the, the Xbox Scarlet is targeting rivals my PC that is higher than a 20 80 that is 4k 60 ultra and these are also going to have ray tracing and we don't even know how good amd's next generation ray tracing is going to be i suspect it to be better than the rtx offerings that nvidia gave us because that was the first generation of ray tracing amd i know they they, they like to have everything ready when they release something and i know they would have partnered up with game studios so we're going to see a lot more games supporting ray tracing and i think it's going to be a generation better than the rtx cards and this is all going to be inside the consoles this is really incredible news. Um, 
I think these consoles are going to be priced around $4.99. I can't see them being priced any cheaper. Um, I don't want them to be more expensive, but if they were more expensive, I could understand it with all the tech that's inside of it. And the reason why Microsoft still has the Lockhart device might turn out to be a sound strategy because not everybody's going to be able to jump into the next generation with the prices being $4.99. Of course, the hardcore day one, they're going to jump in, they're going to get it. The early adopters are going to get it, but a lot of gamers are not going to jump right away. They're going to wait for sales on the consoles and usually the second year that consoles are out is when people start to migrate over so in the meantime if they want to enjoy next generation games they can always opt for the a lot cart and if you want the high end the xbox scarlet is right there for you now these are targeted specs so anything can happen between now and when the uh, console is uh, finalized and goes into mass production but i'm excited to see that they're targeting 12 teraflops of performance it also has me thinking on amd's counterparts for the pc those gpus are going to be very powerful now, we've been hearing for a long time that AMD's uh, second generation Navi cards are going to be really powerful. I've heard people say 20 teraflops. I've heard even some claims of 24. I kind of have to walk that 24 teraflops back because it's just my mind can't compute that, 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 that number. And 20 teraflops at that is very high. But I'm hearing that the next generation RDNA 2 cards from Navi are really powerful. We've also had some reports where AMD internally has a GPU that is dubbed the NVIDIA Killer. So... I don't know is is this the uh, RDNA 2 is this is this the big Navi that we're gonna see and the Xbox Scarlet is a cut down version of that card kind of makes sense to me and um, it, it's it's just blowing my mind uh, what these consoles are gonna do next generation as well as the uh, PC will be taking a step up as well because now the consoles have come up in power so the PCs can also start to stretch their legs a little bit further uh, anyways this is really interesting news um, I want to know what you guys think about the uh, information that we got today what do you think about the 12 teraflops of um, performance that the Xbox Scarlet is going to be targeting also if the console is priced at 499 would you get this system day one um, let me know in the comment section down below and like I usually say please like share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one